Ever pondered why some people seem to never have cavities while others are plagued by them? Well, we're about to embark on a journey to unravel the mystery of tooth decay. It's a curious case, a story as old as time, yet one that continues to puzzle us. So brace yourselves as we delve into the realm of oral health, a fascinating world that is much more than just brushing and flossing. Tooth decay, or dental caries as it's scientifically known, is a widespread issue that affects people of all ages, from toddlers to the elderly. It's a global concern, with reports stating that nearly 2.5 billion people suffer from untreated caries in their permanent teeth. That's a staggering one in three individuals worldwide. Yet not everyone experiences tooth decay in the same way. Some people seem to have an uncanny ability to keep cavities at bay, despite not always adhering to the best oral hygiene practices. Others, however, follow all the dental rules in the book but still find themselves in the dentist's chair, baffled by yet another cavity. This discrepancy isn't as random as it may appear. It's not solely about genetics, diet, or even dental hygiene. There's an intriguing factor that plays a pivotal role in this dental drama, a phenomenon that can alter the course of tooth decay. Consider this. Have you ever noticed a dark spot on your tooth that didn't seem to get worse over time? or perhaps a white mark that's different from the rest of your tooth. These might not be signs of impending doom, but rather, indicators of a process known as arrested caries. Arrested caries is a form of tooth decay that has halted in its tracks. It's like a paused movie, frozen in time, with no progression towards the dreaded cavity. It's an unexpected twist in our tale, a game-changer that can potentially shield our teeth from further damage. So what causes this pause in the decay process? How can we encourage it, and more importantly, prevent it from resuming? The answer may lie in a phenomenon known as arrested caries. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this captivating topic. Arrested caries, a term not familiar to many, is a type of tooth decay that has seized its forward march. It's like a villain in a story that was causing havoc but suddenly decided to stop in its tracks. Now, let's delve into this concept and see how it differs from the usual tooth decay we're more accustomed to hearing about. Tooth decay in general is a destructive process. It's like a tiny destructive force chipping away at the fortress of your tooth. It starts with the outermost layer, the enamel, and progresses inward, eventually reaching the inner layers of the tooth. But arrested caries is an unusual twist in this tale. It's tooth decay that has stopped progressing, effectively becoming inactive. Imagine a miniature construction crew that was drilling into your tooth, and then suddenly, they down tools and walk off the job. The physical characteristics of arrested caries are quite distinctive. It often appears as a discolored patch, usually brown or sometimes even whiter than the surrounding area, known as white spot lesions. It's like a scar on the landscape of your tooth. Unlike the rough texture of active decay, the surface of arrested caries is typically shiny, as if it's been polished. It's a silent testament to a battle that was once waged but has now ceased. But why does this happen? Why does tooth decay stop in its tracks? The reasons are varied and can include good oral hygiene, the use of fluoride, and the natural process of remineralization. It's as if your tooth has rallied its defenses and managed to halt the advancing decay. However, while arrested caries does not require immediate treatment, it's not a license to neglect your oral hygiene. It's crucial to monitor it and maintain regular dental checkups to ensure that the decay does not decide to pick up its tools and resume its destructive work. Arrested caries, therefore, is a halted tooth decay progression. It's a pause in the decay process, a chance for your tooth to rest and recover. But it's not a victory. The war against tooth decay is ongoing, and it requires your unwavering attention and care. But what causes this halting of tooth decay, you may ask? Well, the cessation of tooth decay, better known as arrested caries, can be attributed to several factors. First, let's talk about good oral hygiene. Regular brushing and flossing of teeth can remove plaque and bacteria before they get a chance to cause tooth decay. Yes, that's right. The simple act of brushing your teeth twice a day and flossing once a day can be a game changer in the fight against dental decay. Moving on, we come to fluoride. This mineral is a real superhero when it comes to strengthening tooth enamel and making it more resistant to decay. You may find fluoride in everyday products like toothpaste and mouthwash. Even your drinking water may contain this valuable mineral. So next time you brush your teeth or rinse your mouth, remember, you're not just cleaning, you're also reinforcing your teeth with the power of fluoride. 
The third factor in our list is remineralization, a process where minerals are deposited back into the tooth enamel. This can occur naturally, or it can be enhanced by using fluoride products. It's like your teeth have their own repair kit, constantly working to fix the damage done by harmful bacteria. So, in essence, arrested caries is like a battle between tooth decay and your body's natural defense mechanisms. The decay starts, but then it's halted, stopped in its tracks by good oral hygiene, fluoride and remineralization. It's a fascinating process really, a testament to the body's ability to heal and protect itself. However, while arrested caries does not require treatment per se, it's crucial to monitor it and see your dentist regularly to ensure that it does not progress. Sometimes your dentist may even recommend sealing the area to prevent further decay. Thus, arrested caries is often the result of improved oral care practices and the body's natural healing processes. It's a reminder that a little effort and care can go a long way in maintaining our dental health. After all, a healthy smile is a beautiful smile. Scene script. Recognizing arrested caries is one thing, but what next? Having identified arrested caries, it's essential to remember that while it may be inactive, it still warrants attention. So what should you do? Well, the first step is monitoring. Keep an eye on the affected area and make sure you're taking note of any changes. Changes could indicate that the caries has become active again, which would need immediate attention from your dentist. Speaking of dentists, regular dental checkups play a crucial role in managing arrested caries. Your dentist is equipped with the knowledge and tools to properly assess the state of your teeth. They can monitor the arrested caries more effectively and can spot any signs of progression that you might miss. So, don't skip those dental appointments. They're more important than you might think. Now, you might be wondering if there's anything else that can be done to manage arrested caries. Well, in some cases, your dentist might recommend a treatment called sealing. This involves applying a protective seal over the affected area. This seal acts as a shield, preventing further decay and halting the progression of any potential active caries. It's a simple procedure that can go a long way in protecting your teeth. But remember, sealing is not a substitute for good oral hygiene. Brushing, flossing and using fluoride products are all essential steps in maintaining your oral health and preventing the progression of arrested caries. So, keep up with your oral hygiene routine. Your teeth will thank you for it. In the end, managing arrested caries revolves around two key aspects, monitoring and regular dental checkups. Stay vigilant, keep an eye on any changes and don't hesitate to reach out to your dentist if you have any concerns. After all, when it comes to your oral health, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Remember, arrested caries is inactive, but it still requires attention. Can we prevent arrested caries from becoming active again? Indeed we can, and here's how we can keep these silent dwellers of our mouths in check. Let's start with the basics. Brushing your teeth twice a day for two minutes with a fluoride toothpaste is the cornerstone of good oral hygiene. This simple act can help remove plaque and bacteria before they have a chance to cause decay. It's like giving your teeth a mini spa treatment twice a day. Who wouldn't want that? Flossing your teeth once a day is another key step in preventing the progression of arrested caries. Think of flossing as your secret weapon, reaching the nooks and crannies that your toothbrush can't. It's like having a secret agent working for you, taking down potential threats before they become a problem. Now let's talk about fluoride. This mineral is a superstar when it comes to strengthening tooth enamel and making it more resistant to decay. Using a fluoride mouthwash once a day can give your teeth an extra layer of protection. It's like having a superhero cape for your teeth, helping them stand strong against the villains of decay. Eating a healthy diet and limiting sugary foods and drinks is another important step in preventing the progression of arrested caries. Sugary foods and drinks are like fuel for the bacteria that cause tooth decay. Limiting these can help keep your teeth in top shape. It's like making sure your car has the right fuel to run smoothly. Finally, visiting your dentist regularly for checkups and cleanings is crucial. Your dentist can monitor the condition of your arrested caries and ensure they don't progress. It's like having regular car checkups to ensure everything is running smoothly. If you have any concerns about arrested caries, don't hesitate to talk to your dentist. They're there to help and can provide advice tailored to your specific situation. Remember, your mouth is a part of your body, and taking care of it is just as important as taking care of the rest of your body. With these measures, you can keep arrested caries from progressing. Dental checkups aren't just for when you have a toothache. They play a significant role in maintaining your overall oral health. 
One of the main reasons for this is the early identification and monitoring of arrested caries, a type of tooth decay that has stopped progressing and is inactive. Regular dental checkups allow your dentist to keep a close eye on your teeth and gums, identifying any potential issues before they become more serious. This includes arrested caries, which may not cause any noticeable symptoms, but can be spotted during a routine examination. Your dentist is equipped with the knowledge and tools to identify signs of arrested caries, which often appear as discolored patches on the teeth that are different from the rest of the tooth surface. These patches can be brown or sometimes whiter than the surrounding area, known as white spot lesions. The affected area is typically shiny as well. While arrested caries does not require treatment since it's inactive, it's crucial to monitor it to ensure it doesn't start progressing again. Regular dental checkups allow your dentist to monitor the condition of arrested caries and implement preventive measures if necessary. For instance, your dentist may recommend sealing the area to prevent further decay. In addition, regular dental checkups are an opportunity for your dentist to provide personalized advice and guidance on maintaining good oral hygiene. This could include tips on brushing and flossing techniques, the use of fluoride products, dietary advice and more. Remember good oral hygiene practices at home, such as brushing twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste, flossing daily, and using a fluoride mouthwash, are essential. But they are not a substitute for regular dental checkups. In conclusion, regular dental checkups are not just about fixing problems, but about preventing them from happening in the first place. They are crucial in the early identification and monitoring of conditions like arrested caries, and play an invaluable role in ensuring that our teeth and gums remain healthy. Regular dental checkups are a key component of proactive oral care. So, make sure to schedule your next dental appointment if you haven't done so already. Your smile will thank you. So, we've demystified arrested caries, but what's the takeaway? Let's recap, shall we? Arrested caries is a type of tooth decay that has stopped progressing due to good oral hygiene, fluoride use, and remineralization. It's usually found in areas where plaque hasn't built up, and it often appears as brown or white spots that are shinier than the rest of the tooth. Though it doesn't require treatment, it's crucial to keep an eye on arrested caries. Regular checkups with your dentist can ensure that it doesn't progress. In some cases, your dentist may recommend sealing the area to prevent further decay. Prevention strategies include brushing your teeth twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste, flossing daily, using a fluoride mouthwash, eating a healthy diet, and limiting sugary foods and drinks. If you have any concerns about arrested caries, don't hesitate to talk to your dentist. Remember, good oral hygiene is your best defense against tooth decay, even the arrested kind.